Frank McLaughlin from the United States, and I was asked to come here to Victoria Falls World Challenge Pigeon Race to grade the pigeons after the race for PIPA for their auction. Great, Frank. Um, and uh, what did you think of, of the majority of the birds that you've been through today? I was actually amazed. Uh, the quality and the condition. I graded 230 pigeons over the last two days, and they're exceptional. Best group that I've seen. Uh, every year I import the birds back. They come from Zimbabwe to me in the USA and then they're distributed, but this is the nicest group. And I think the reason is it was a tough season. It was a tough final and the highest quality pigeons finished at the top and in the prizes. Perfect. So so you anticipate that uh, this will bode well for a good auction for the race coming yeah, up? Yeah, well, I think that these pigeons will make the owners really happy and uh, they're going to breed winners. I mean, this is just high quality from start to finish. Even the, the later pigeons, uh, the prize winners, the later prize winners are exceptional pigeons. Very pleased. Perfect, Frank. Um, and have you had a good week up here in the falls? Amazing. I would recommend everyone to put it on their bucket list, do it once. It's like coming to visit family. The event is first class. Uh, I took my son and he's in heaven. He wants to come back next year. That was probably a mistake. He'll want to come back every year. But yeah, beautiful country, warm, friendly, safe. You do have to uh, worry about the animals if you're wandering around at night. There's big game everywhere and we love it. We love it. I'll be back next year. And what did you think of the final race? Tough race. I think it separated out the best pigeons. Um, ultimately, we all want a working race, a tough race to see the, the top genetics. There were no uh, lucky pigeons that came and scored in the prizes in this race. Perfect. Frank, thanks for your time and we'll hope to see you back here next year. And I'll do that. Thank you for having me. I had a ball.